What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today we're doing a little active rest day in the life. I get so many questions about what I do on my active rest days. I have two active rest days a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays, and it's really just my day to listen to my body and do the type of movement or exercise or lack thereof that my body needs in order to feel its best the next day, if I need to focus on recovering, if I need to just do some light exercise, if I'm feeling good and I wanna exercise, I do that. It just totally depends on how I feel, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I had every intention of waking up and going to the pool this morning. I was awake, but it was absolutely pouring and our pool is outdoors. It was like hardcore pouring, like torrential downpour. So needless to say, we couldn't go to the pool. So instead, I'm just gonna do a super long walk. I do need to stretch and roll out though. My legs are so freaking sore. My leg days have just been hitting different lately and I love it, I'm a big fan. Leg days are my absolute favorite and tomorrow's actually leg day. So I need to walk, stretch, roll out, and we'll see what else the day brings us. All right, slight change of plans. I think I'm actually gonna try to jog first and then finish up with a walk. It's been like five weeks, I think, since I last went on a run or like a jog of any kind because after my last run, my Achilles started hurting. And it really just depends on what shoes I'm wearing. Like if there's pressure against my Achilles, then it hurts. Like it's perfectly fine if I'm barefoot, it's super weird but it tends to do pretty well in these Nike Zoom Pegasus, which is weird because literally all of my shoes are Nike Zoom Pegasus, so it's very confusing. We're gonna see how it goes. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I'll probably jog like one, maybe two miles if it feels good, then finish up with a walk. So let's go try. jog and then a three mile walk and in all honesty my Achilles felt better like more pain free when I was running versus when I'm walking so that's annoying but also good to know like I probably could have been running for the past few weeks now but oh well and a lot of times on like my Wednesday after recovery days I really enjoy doing a little jog like that because I feel like it's just the perfect way to shake out my legs like I know not everyone is like that, but for me, getting in a chill jog, it makes such a difference in how my legs feel that day and the next day. So I'm a big fan, but once again, listen to your body, like everyone is different. For some people, I'm sure that makes their legs really sore, but for me, it helps so freaking much. So I'm very glad I got that in, and it was perfect timing because literally, I finished my walk and then it started pouring again. So, gotta love it. Worked out great. I am a bit hungry now and thirsty, but I need to roll out my legs. It's a necessity, so I'm forcing myself to do that now.
literally just got out of the shower, got my little morning movement in, got my recovery done. I truly feel so much better after that run and walk and stretching and rolling out and using the massage gun. Like recovery really is key. And I kind of try to emphasize my active rest days because even though I'm getting movement in, like they are very restful compared to the other days of the week, the days where I'm getting a lift in and a walk and your body needs that rest and recovery in order to repair and rebuild. And a lot of times on my Wednesdays, like I said, sometimes I get a jog in, but a lot of days I end up just getting a long walk in or like a chill swim and a walk. Like they really do vary depending on how I feel. And that's why I love them so much. Like it really just depends on how my body's feeling that day and what my body needs that day. And it does take some time to kind of learn how to properly listen to your body and learn what your body needs. But once you take the time to actually listen to your body, learn from it, you'll kind of be able to gauge better what you need to do that day. If you have an active rest day, active recovery day built in, learn how to listen to your body and learn how to utilize that to your advantage for the days to come. So my little recovery session is complete and now it's time to sit down and do a whole bunch of computer work. I've got some YouTube video editing to do, client programming to do, and a little bit of work to do on my future ebook. So lots of fun stuff, time to get to work. I have been working at the computer for like four hours now and I totally forgot to show you guys my lunch. It wasn't anything special. I did have that Fairlife protein shake, but then I also had some carrots, celery, crackers, and Ithaca hummus and a baby bell cheese. Very random, but like a very accurate depiction of what my lunches look like on the days where I don't have anything prepped or I just like can't be bothered to cook anything. So yeah, and I'm drinking water and don't hate me. I know I've been drinking plastic water bottles all day for the past few days actually, because our filter, like our water filter thing on our fridge just decided to stop working. Don't really know what's wrong with it. Like the fridge is still working great, fingers crossed. Hopefully it keeps working, knock on wood. Don't wanna have to buy a new fridge, but it just isn't dispensing water. So I was actually about to go to like Costco, Publix, Walmart and get a Brita filter. However, I checked my good friend Amazon and it just happened to be on sale today and it happened to be a same day delivery item. So it'll be here between the hours of five and 10 PM. And then we'll have some clean water and I won't have to drink out of plastic water bottles. This did not go according to plan. I have about an hour until my FaceTime client session this evening. So I was like, you know what? Let's go get an hour of sun at the pool. Joke's on me, completely forgetting that the sun like starts going down a little bit earlier. It's not down, but it's obviously like farther over in the sky and it's behind all the palm trees. So the pool's completely shaded. It is very nice out here, but I don't think I'll get much color. But I feel like I'm getting so pale. <sighs> we'll try again tomorrow. Also, I have absolutely zero idea what I'm making for dinner. I know we have salmon and bison, and some ground turkey. But I don't know if we have any vegetables left. I think we have Brussels sprouts. So who knows what tonight's dinner concoction will be, but next up on the agenda is my 5.30 p.m. FaceTime client session.
Dinner is prepped. We're having some jasmine rice, salmon, and Brussels sprouts. I seasoned literally everything with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Also finished up my FaceTime client session. And before training my client, I ended up doing a 30 minute incline walk on the treadmill while getting some work done on my phone. I hate sitting still. So if I was gonna be working on my phone, I might as well walk, get some steps in while I'm doing it. And that's just what makes my body feel good. Like sitting down physically hurts. Like my body does not do well sitting for long periods of time. So I got up and got my body moving. And now I'm snacking on some pineapple until the oven preheats and I can throw the dinner in. guys wrapping up the night with some raspberries and dark chocolate chips for dessert and if anyone was wondering the Brita filter it's not here yet but it is out for delivery so it should be here any second hoping Amazon comes through I do have a little bit of beef with them though because I ordered a pair of jeans back on October 21st they were supposed to be here three days after I ordered them they're lost. They're still not here. They keep emailing me asking if I still want them, but they also told me that if I cancel the order, I can't get my refund since I paid with a gift card. So I'm just going to wait it out. Hope they show up. But um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little active rest day in the life. Pretty similar to my normal days. I just don't get a full lift in. I give my body a little bit more rest and recovery. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all next time. Bye.